to cut it down to three. How did the game change once you guys got up um, by, by that margin? Well, we were about 20, did you ask? Yeah, you were up 20, and then they cut it to three. How did you see feel the game change once you guys got to, to that lead? Um, I feel like how we got to it, I mean, we got stops, and we were scoring the ball in the efficient rate, and then, you know, you see we weren't hitting shots, and then they were hitting a lot of big shots. We were hitting threes and getting to the rack and hitting circuit shots, so. Do you come out of this, obviously you win's a win, do you come out of it feeling that way or is it, is it tempered a little bit by the fact that you had to make plays down the stretch and it looked like it could be a blowout? So a win's a win in the 10, you know, they're not going to look pretty in the 10. You, know, you seen it yesterday, Michigan, like Michigan State and Illinois, they're not going to look pretty winning the win in the 10. What was Coach Holden's reaction after this in the locker room he's talking to you and addressing you all? Yeah, just uh, almost groups that just win's a win, obviously we it didn't go the way we wanted it to, uh, given the fact that we leave. But uh, when you're in the Big Ten, it's hard. It wins are hard to come by, so uh, take it. What was sort of your, what was your main takeaways? I mean, it, it seems like for the first 25 minutes, you guys were playing some of your better ball that you played recently. And then the last 10 or 15 minutes, you went through this week. What happened was last time you guys didn't want. I mean, how do you sort of balance those in, in, in your head and, and, and sort of evaluate what happened out there? Yeah, I think the main thing is just trying to put a full 40 minutes together. I think the first 25 minutes we were uh, competing, just competing, playing hard, uh, sharing the ball, and uh, we kind of got away from that a little bit. And I, uh, just putting together a full 40 minutes, I think. I'm just wondering what it feels like at the end of a game where, like you said, Caleb, shots aren't falling in for you guys, and then like Geo Baker pulls up from 45 feet and knocks one down. Like, how do you get past that? How do you not let that sort of totally deflate you? I don't feel like Coach uh, preaches uh, don't flinch a lot. You know, like things like that are going to happen. You know, people are going to hit circuit shots. And there's good players on the floor. They're going to hit shots that not many players are going to hit. And then you just got to keep your poise and be able to sit down on the next end and, and play defense. You guys have been in close games at home that haven't gone your way. And I, I know you're not happy that it became close, but. Once it did get close, how do you feel like you guys responded to that? What's it got within a couple of possessions? Uh, I feel like our older guys, um, Boogie and Dre, kind of kind of calmed our group down. Like, like I said, you know, don't flinch and just stay on the next possession, uh, win the next possession. Uh, Luther and Dwayne gave you guys some good minutes today. Yeah, I think they found a shot a little bit. Dwayne was facilitating the offense a little bit. What how the point was last year? Yeah, they were big. I mean, uh, they put together uh, a good couple days of practice and it led over to the game. Um, obviously, we're happy with the Blues uh, playing better and uh, the one was facilitating the ball, like you said, and just hope they continue to do that. Hey, this, this is really one of you guys. You guys have been solid at home. You've got 12 2 at home. A lot of us have <laughs> shot the ball a lot better than you guys have been on the road. I think. 48% at home, I think it's 39% when you guys are away from here. I understand like home court events is a real thing, but like, why is it that much of a drastic difference between what you guys are able to do here versus what you're able to do other places? Um, we have the luxury of um, being able to practice on our, our main floor for two days in a row before the games. You know, I feel like that really helps. And you know, our coaches preach uh, getting shots after practice. You know, after when you stay in your home gym, you're seeing the rim, the, the background is, is different away. And you know, at home, you get to practice on that shot a lot with the same background as the shooters do. I mean, we talked after the, the Wisconsin game about just trying to be the leader and, and take charge of things after a tough loss like that. What did you do these last couple of days of practice to try to take control of this team and make sure that a tough loss on Sunday didn't become Today. Yeah, just expressing that we just got one from Saturday, uh, Sunday's loss, and just uh, get rid of it and get ready for Rutgers. Uh, we did a good job of doing that. Um, I think uh, watching the film, we saw where we were uh, messing up, and we corrected it, and we did a good job of that. You guys know what your big 10 record is? 6-7. 6 how do you explain a wild disparity in scores like what happened in Iowa at Purdue? I, mean, I know home court advantage, like Steven said, it's usually it's three points. You get beat, beat Penn State by 32, you lose by 14. There's all kinds of scores like that this year in the conference. What do you attribute that to? 10. I mean, it's the best, obviously the best 
choppers in the country right now. We're talking about putting you know, wood in 617s and turning it right now. And you can just see how our, between the three spot and like the 10 spot, it's all separated by like three games. You, know, you don't see that a lot around the country. Last one, Adam. They got you know, the majority of their points off the bench, and some of those guys haven't scored like that this season. Were you guys, I guess, how clued in were you on some of those guys in the scouting report? How much attention do you have to pay to some of the guys that ended up uh, putting up some big numbers on you? Yeah, uh, I think we did a good job on scouting report for the most part. Uh, obviously, I mean, some guys come in and they're going to get shot, uh, shots you don't think they're going to hit. So uh, it's just uh, staying poised and just knowing that they're going to hit tough. Get tough shots and just uh, flush it and move on to the